Hello. How are you? I'm going to show you how I how I do it. How I tie on and tie off my work. This is, would be some bead embroidery I'm working on. I ran out of thread. I got to tie on some new thread. So I have my needle threaded. And the way I do this is I put my needle close to where I want to tie off. I slide it through. I'm not going all the way through. I'm going like halfway through this interfacing. This is Pellon Heavy Craft interfacing. Leave a little bit of a tail there, teeny bit, because I've got thread going through. And then I go through again tie my half hitch knot like that tie another half hitch knot and I'm ready to bring my needle up and keep sewing to tie off would be just the opposite bring my needle out through the back tie off my half hitch knots and then slide my needle through the middle of the backing like this and cut and that's how I tie on and tie off for bead embroidery the tie on and tie off for peyote this is just even count teeny tiny piece I would tie a half inch through an edge You don't have to, but I often do to secure that last bead. And then I weave in and out through the beads until they're secure. I feel they're secure. And then I work my needle up to a good spot and cut my thread. like that to tie back on same thing tie a little the way I do it tie one one half hitch pretend this is a new thread tie a half hitch to an edge you're gonna have another tail that's okay. You can leave it long and weave it back in. Leave your tail long and weave it back in. You'll never see it. Tie a half hitch, weave around, and make your way back up to where you stopped, which would be up here. And you continue back on. If I'm tying a ring for netting, I want to net this ring, for example. I bring my beads down to the tail end. You can leave as long a tail as you like. Some people like long tails. They have a purpose for them. I usually don't. And you tie one overhand. Try not to get those beads tangled or, you know, jump over the thread. And then tie the tail around twice. This is called a surgeon's knot. And I learned this from a beading friend named Kate. Hello, Kate. Long time ago, and it's very strong, a very strong knot. And it's not, your beads aren't going to go anywhere. Pull tight. You could tie one more if you want to. Just like that. And then I usually put my needle through some beads and pull that knot through a little bit. And cut this tail. It will hide everything. And then you can slide your bead over your whatever you're going to work on. And start your netting. It's just a little bead tube. When you're ending, 
when you're ending, uh, if you needed to add more thread, you would tie half hitch knots through your beads. So my thread is coming out here. I tie one half hitch knot here. Where'd my needle go? Where are you? <laughs> there you are. Probably tangled. Well, that didn't work. One more time. Come on, focus. Bring your needle down. Your needle through the loop. Keep the thread where it's supposed to be. You don't want to cross over the beads. Pull it where it's supposed to be. Just pull. Move your needle to through a few more beads. Tie another half hitch. Go down. Through the loop. Pull and repeat this a few couple times, two, three times, and your thread isn't going anywhere. You do the same thing to tie on a new thread. Find a good starting point where you want to start. Um, tie half hitch, move up, tie another half hitch, move up, tie another half hitch, and then move up to where you left off so you can continue your beading. Pretty easy. Here's something I wanted to try. I wanted to try to color Fireline and White Wildfire with stamp ink and see what I come up with. I don't know if it'll work. I don't know anything. This is the first time I've tried it. These were on sale at Michael's. This little stackable ink pad. I'll try this blue. I'm just going to hold it, the end of it, and push it through, push it through, oh, it's like a metallic. That looks good. Let's try this gold, this coppery color here on the other end. It looks like you might have to let it dry. Oh, that's wonderful. Looks great. Happy with that. Because these lines don't come in other colors. I'm going to see if I can color it. And it looks like you can. Try it on the wildfire. Try this this green. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I like. I like a lot. Let's see what this looks like on this side. Like a gold. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think this will work. I do. I'd have to sew with it and see if it comes off on everything. Like I said, I think you might have to let it dry. These are pigment colors. They they didn't have any of the um, permanent, what you call, dye color. I don't know anything about this stuff. About these inks. But I think it will work. Yeah, it's coming off a little bit on my fingers. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, 
if you got the, the because it's got a metallic in there I think that's might be an issue that's not too bad oh well it was worth a try I think the dye base would probably work better I'll have to try that hello bead hoarders how are you happy Memorial Day Mm. You remember this thing that I picked up at the flea market last week? Well, I took all the rings off in three sizes, which is awesome. And I beaded the rings like I said I would, reattached them to the chain. In this way and it came out very very nicely I even added a little dangly thing to the clasp this is the same chain which I may or may not keep uh, I have some of this chain right here but I like this one because it was a little closed a little more closed and this worked well for the clasp make it adjustable. I had to add some extensions because it was way too small. Um, would have choked to death. And I just beaded the rings with a brick stitch in three sizes of the same color of Miyuki rounds. There's 15s, 11s, and 8s on the outside. And I needed the 8s on the outside so I could get the jump ring through. Okay. Very not hard. The hardest part was actually <laughs> trying to get it spaced evenly between the rings on the chain. So, yeah, I think that's much more updated look, kind of pretty. And uh, seeing that I only paid about less, hmm, what I pay for all these materials? Maybe a buck fifty? <laughs> if that, um, not many beads in here. I use the same clasp. This chain is just pennies. The beads are pennies. So, yeah. Pretty cool. I'm not, I like it. I don't know if this is not, I don't know if I'll keep it. Give it to one of my kids. I'm not sure. I haven't made up my mind. So I thought you might like that. I'll show you the back a little more. Whoop. Yeah, I think that'll be nice. I didn't keep any of my neck molds, you know, the forms. When I moved last year, I got rid of all that stuff, which is really stupid. Um, I never should have done that, but I did. Because I just didn't want to move it all. I got rid of a lot of stuff, and now I want it back. <laughs> Anyway, that's it. Have a wonderful Memorial Day. Thank you, military. Thank you, Nicholas. I love you. Stay happy. Stay inspired. Bye.